it seems that if one has a conservative view, they are to keep it to themselves. It was interesting to read in the Daily Telegraph here in Australia that opposition leader Bill Shorten says uh, concerning uh, Corey Bernardi's comments on abortion and non-traditional families that uh, his views are backward and offensive. Uh, Shorten went on to say uh, and condemn, uh, this is what he said, uh, concerning uh, Mr. Bernardi's uh, comments, he said his attitude on abortion represents a massive step backwards when it comes to women's reproductive health rights. And uh, Senator Bernardi also uses his book that he wrote to argue that the traditional family model should be restored to prime position over others like same sex, single parent, and step families. Uh, Shorten said that Prime Minister Tony Abbott should explain, must explain to the public, why it's acceptable that a member of his parliamentary team holds such views. However, Mr. Barnardi is on the back bench, and a spokesman for Mr. Abbott said that his views do not represent the position of the government. Well, that's sad, isn't it? Anyway, uh, last year, uh, Mr. Abbott dumped uh, Senator Bernardi from a senior coalition role for comments he made linking gay marriage to bestiality. Personally, I think he is right. Where are we going to stop? But uh, then Evander Holyfield, who was a heavyweight champion, I believe at least three times, he's in England on that program that uh, I am surprised he claims to be a Christian, and a Christian would go on it but uh, Big Brother. And it says that during a conversation with another contestant on the show, uh, Holyfield said being gay, and I quote, ain't normal, end of quote. After fellow contestant Louisa Zisman said to Holyfield that it was a shame more gay athletes had not come out because it's normal, quote, end, end quote. Holyfield responded that ain't normal. Now, the comments have landed uh, Holyfield, of course, in, in hot water. And uh, Holyfield was called to the show's diary room where he was told, quote, while Big Brother understands these are the views you hold, they aren't the views that are held by a large section of society. Are they sure? Have they taken a poll of everyone upon planet Earth? And expressing these views will be extremely offensive to many people. Mm, end of quote. They added, Big Brother does not tolerate the use of offensive language and must therefore warn you to consider very carefully the effect expressing such views may have and the harm and offense you may cause by repeating these views inside the house. End of quote. Well, I take offense that uh, they took offense. I take offense that they are going opposite of what the Bible says. Abortion is wrong. Abortion is murder. A marriage between a man and a woman is the way that uh, a family is made up. The Lord Jesus himself said in Matthew chapter 19 and verse 4, saying to the religious leaders, Have ye not read? I say that to these people as well. Mr. Shorten, have ye not read? That which, uh, that he which made them at the beginning made, made them male and female, and said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife. And they too, they twain, shall be one flesh. Wherefore, they are no more twain, but one flesh. For therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Marriage is to be between one man and one woman. Not between <clears throat> one man <coughs> and one man. Not between one woman and one woman. You can't have it. It's between a man and a woman before God. <coughs> On this matter of homosexuality. I go along with the dynasty man. I go along with God. Uh, God said it in 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Again we read, uh, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. This has to do with homosexuality. This has to do with those transgender, trying to figure out what they are, a man or a woman, and so on. Or thieves. That covers a lot of us, doesn't it? 
nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. These people will not be in heaven. And such were some of you, he said to the Corinthians. And so were we. But we are now washed, washed in the blood of the Lamb. We are sanctified. We are set apart uh, for heaven. We're set apart by the blood of Christ. We are one of his. We are in Christ. But ye are justified, declared righteous in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. No, abortion's murder. Homosexuality, same-sex marriage, same-sex sex is all wrong and against God. God came and died for sinners. And the Apostle Paul uh, said he was the chief of sinners. Listen, my friend, you and I need to repent of our sins and uh, adultery, uh, homosexuality, all of these things are sin. You can read it in your own Bible. And uh, man needs to repent, turn from their sins, turn to Christ, and believe that he died for sinners and uh, receive him as their Savior. Jesus said, I, Jesus, am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. May men continue. Uh, even Holyfield, who, who says he is a Christian, I don't know whether he is or not. He claims to be a Christian. Uh, he has a right to say what he said. Uh, the dynasty man had a right, had the liberty to say what he said. And may we say it till Jesus comes.